Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay updated with Knowledge Hut. Hello and welcome to Knowledge Hut. In this video, we will be discussing a very popular agile estimation technique called planning poker. Let's begin with understanding what is meant by estimation. In software development, an estimate consists of a quantified evaluation of the effort which is necessary to carry out a given development task. This is most often expressed in terms of duration. The intent here is to aggregate many individual estimates so as to obtain an indication of the overall duration, effort, or cost of a software project. Planning poker is a consensus-based estimate technique. In Agile, it is used to estimate the product backlog. Story points, ideal days, or any other estimating unit can be used with planning poker. So how do you use planning poker for Agile estimation and planning? At the start of the planning poker session, every person in the team holds a deck of planning poker cards. Each card contains a value, like 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 20, 40, and 100. The product owner or customer then reads an agile user story or describes a feature to the estimators. Here the term estimators means the whole team. The estimators discuss the feature to clearly understand all of its aspects. When they are done with discussing the features, each estimator privately selects one card to represent his or her estimate. All cards are then revealed at the same time. If the value selected by all the estimators is the same, then that value becomes the estimate for the story. If not, then all estimators discuss their estimates further. The estimators who selected the highest and lowest value should especially share their reasons. After further discussion, each estimator reselects an estimate card and all cards are again revealed at the same time. This process continues until the consensus of all the estimators is achieved. When everyone is holding up the same number, we are done. That number is written as the estimate and we move on. But if the numbers are different, we discuss it and estimate again. When there is a tie in the voting between two sizes which are consecutive, for example 5 and 8, just pick the larger size and move on. It saves a lot of time and also saves the team from the perils of running out of time due to an underestimation of the size of the task. If the difference between the estimates is very large, for example, three out of the four people are holding five and one person is holding a 100, then there is clearly either a product uncertainty or technical uncertainty regarding the task. In such a case, it is better to put the story aside and come back in the next meeting after doing proper research. So this was how you play planning poker for agile estimation and planning. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos and visit our website for all the Scrum and Agile related courses.